all right so apart from leveling up and all there's one thing known as the wilderness so wilderness um in this game you we kind of have like we can place islands okay and what happens is when you start you don't have this entire big chunk of islands uh what you have is okay i'm gonna edit it so we can see um like all this i can retrieve okay but all this core this view okay this what we call as the dust bell tower the chapeau Dante market the paleo hall and the wishing well they cannot be uh moved so when you enter this for the first time those are already there then what you can do is that you can place all these islands all these hexagons and it will make the island bigger and bigger and obviously whatever island you have fully place it out because that will increase your vigor and with increasing vigor then you can increase your passive resource in terms of passive resource um, again if you're referring to Honkai that is similar to like assignment you send your character for assignment after the end of assignment you get a bunch of materials so instead what they have here in reverse 999 is right you have the building so the building is constantly generating resource for you and the higher the level you get more at this point i have not leveled my resources up because i'm using most of my resources to upgrade my units but um if you want to do that for wilderness then do know the faster you level them up then the more resource you can get per day so in the long run it will benefit you more rather than you upgrade it later all right so we have dust of bell tower for dust chapo Dante market obviously for chapo Dante. paleo hall is the general one um that basically show what is the progress of the other building and they upgrade i mean if you want to upgrade your dust bell tower or chapo Dante market or wishing spring so they can have different functions or um just to produce more resources you got to level up your paleo hall all right so like for example leveling up paleo hall from four to five it increased the level of um dust bell tower then it increased the island capacity so now you can put more island and it increased the base character capacity so we can put more character in your island okay so yes we can put our units in the island okay so the moment the, at the, this point i am not able to bring it to level five which I need to because if I want to increase my character's um, insight to level 3, then I will need to get Paleo Hall to level 5 and then upgrade the Wishing Well to level 4, then I will be able to craft the material for um, increasing my character to insight 3. So at this moment, you can see those items are not here and they are down here, which I need the wishing well, the wishing spring to be upgraded to level 4. Alright, so the more island you put, the higher the Viger gets and to upgrade your Paleo Hall that will increase your passive resource that you can get a day. So you can see that there is some pictures of my units around like baby blue is here oh. like is here so place character i can place up to eight characters here um if i increase paleo hall then i can increase more so the reason why you are putting this character here is that it will increase their bond if the bond is in rewards from each character depending on their bonds so here i'm going back to one of the character for example uh, pickles so pickles that my bond is 86 is delighted by your and visit. if i go to this triangle at the top here okay item so if my bond is high enough it will unlock the item but what is it for it is actually just for clear drops all right when you unlock this the game gives you clear drops and that's all it does all right 
So that's all it does. So there's no rush. Uh, if you have a sufficient clear drop, you have been pulling a lot banner and you have sufficient character for your roster, then you don't have to worry too much. You It's permanent, so you can just collect it later on. All right. Now, if you do, um, in terms of the game mode, there is three things. There's two things here. A Nightmare of Green Lake, as you can see. This is usually for the events. And then you have the show, which is your story mode. So, like default, you basically have all these stages and you can just click on it. Then you can challenge it. If you win it, you unlock the hard mode, which is indicated like here. We have the story and the hard mode. Alright, you have story, we have hard mode. Yeah, so as you progress through the game, and if I'm not mistaken, some of the specific other farm other stages is unlocked when you reach chapter 4 okay but personally I have not fully completed chapter 4 um, some of the heart I haven't even completed so you can see there's like the recommended level so this is like 2 level 45 I at this point do not have 3 unit that is inside 2 level 45 I just have 2 at level 50 um, another one is very close now which is level 43 Okay, then here we have resource. So resource, if you want to farm for dust, you can farm it here. Then here you have, all right, Chapodonti. Then if you want to get the farming, I'm um, sorry, the wilderness upgrade material, then you can farm it from Harvest Prime 4. All right, then here we also have Fuma analysis. Fuma analysis, you can do two free. Two Fuma analysis a day without consuming your resource. So this gives, alright, thought of entirety, thought elements, and it gives you the enlightened materials, and these materials are used, okay, except for the top of entirety and top of element the rest is used to upgrade your accessory your side cubes okay is used to upgrade your side cubes and hence if you are focusing on upgrading your side cubes i do consider that you should farm for this now even though there's all this resource that you need to farm i just want to point out that um for the event so usually event is not like default every three days you get a new event so basically here you have 34 days so one event lasts for over a month and currently they have unlocked three events in this main event sub events right so you have camping safety guide um, and every time you complete the safety guide you get clear drop you get um, resonance materials um, yeah, materials to level up, shuffle down tea, dust, and everything else. Uh, my advice for you as a beginner, do quickly start doing this because you are given like free to try and they provide the characters, like free characters. So if you do not want to use your own characters, then you can use them because this fight is like a puzzle. Um, like you need to do certain things, like you need to use Moxie five times in a game in a fight in order to win then basically you need to know how to maximize your um, skills position and combining them or using them at the correct time in order to complete the mission so everyone will be doing like one damage against one another as in the enemy to your unit your unit to the enemy so it's more like a puzzle and hence you should be doing it first because it has a lot of resource and you do not want to miss it. It's only six days left. The old thief and worn mark um, is this one is also energyless. Like you don't have to consume energy, and basically your goal is to reach the exit. But it has the monster around here, so basically it's also a puzzle. You need to know where to move uh, in order to complete it. So once you complete all of it then you are also given resources right so this are the probably 
one of the first two things that you must do. Then we also have this Nightmare of Green Lake main event. This is the main event and it stay active throughout the entire event. So this is like 34 days total. But uh, this event basically lasts for the 31 days. And it's just like your story mode, right? You have fights. And once you complete it, then you will have hard mode. At the, this point in time, I'm stuck at stage 12. I tried it, I cannot complete it. So I do need to upgrade my characters. Um, they mentioned that I need Insight 2 at level 45 for all three characters. I only have two, so yeah, so probably I need to farm more and upgrade my level before I come back and challenge this fight. Then the thing is, um, sorry, the thing is that in the perspective of farming, like for example, if I farm the new Exodus, there is three levels, Story, Surprise, and Arduous. So if I complete this, I will get 300 can scream. So what does this can, can scream does? Okay, once you get can scream, you can trade for materials. So do not trade the one below here. It maybe. Okay, you don't have to trade for the Chapeau Donty here, which is just 10 for 10. Dust, which is 10 for 20. This is the unlimited one. Do not touch it. The rest, the one that has the word limit there, you should try to empty out this shop. Alright, because the dust that you get here, for every 100, you get 6,000 dust. You need 20 energy in order to get 300 cans. So with 20 energy, you are able to get 18,000 dust. But if you farm it on the normal level, where is it? This one, right? This consume 25 and you're gonna get 12,000, right? So with the limited time that you have now and you want to make the most use and quickly get your character's level up as soon as possible, then you should be farming on a nightmare at Green Lake rather than um, the normal one unless you have traded all the dust and traded all the uh, Chapeau Donty then you have to return back to the main series okay so that covers the event